is the, the foundation of the beginning of a drawing, okay? Um, it's very important. Again, I keep saying this you know, every time I teach. Uh, this is where you, uh, you start a drawing like you're building a house. This is the foundation you put down before you build the walls, the roof, the windows. So don't try, try to avoid jumping and draw every single details of her eye, the nose. I know that there are many artists out there, they, they like to do this um, kind of um, detail first. Uh, but I, 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 um, I suggest you should learn how to block in. So you can control the proportion. You can control uh, how big the drawing should be. Uh, if you don't do this, sometimes you just start and you you will might run into the problem is you run out of space, okay? The drawing gonna be, her hair gonna be touching the edges of the paper and you don't have room for um, the rest of the drawing. So this is the best way to control the proportion and I'd like you to remember this. Uh, sometimes it's hard at first, but try, okay? Try. That's all I can say. All right, before I go for uh, a little bit more detail, I like to use my brush and very soft. I'm touching, I'm doing this because I want to saw all the drawing. Stop all the lines a little bit. And again, I use the wrong side of the paper. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um, this you can see that a little bit of uh, a little bit of the roughness of the paper here. I suppose to use another side of the paper, but oh well, it is just a study, uh, so it's not that important. So we can just use this as a um, uh, demonstration, okay? But if you use this paper again, it's a Canson paper uh, called Ingus. The color is still gray. I mentioned many many times. Then uh, you use uh, the smooth side, okay? This is the rough side. But this morning, uh, when I'm waiting for the model, I'm just hurry put the papers on, and that's when it happened. So let's start working on her uh, feature by breaking in into smaller shape. Okay, I'm still not focused on um, uh, tiny details. I'm looking for shape in here. Okay, the first part I'm looking for is that beautiful shadow on her nose. Okay, this, and now I feel a little bit under her nose is that lines in here uh, i also like to use this uh, soft tools for pan pastels um, sometimes i use them to just blend in them a little bit very soft and it's called soft knife s-o-f-f-t soft knife you can you can buy them online as well. You see, I'm I'm shading, um, I'm filling the shadow. Okay, just the shadow. You know, right there I can use my eraser. Then I can come in a little bit. The thing I love about this paper is it's very forgiving. And it's good for uh, for drawing too. Very forgiving. Even though I'm using the wrong side now, but it's still very, uh, very, um, very good. Very, uh, very soft. So, see that? I'm looking for the shape of the shadow now. And later on, am I gonna feeling on the details and the nose? You know. But now I'm just looking for the shape, okay?
Okay, let's move on to the eyes, okay? And just slowly, okay? Let's use the tour to blend them a little bit. So. attention to the level of the eyes, okay? Eyes is uh, one of the most important feature to learn for portrait art. Okay, if you want to be, I mention this a, a lot every time, almost every time. If you want to be a good uh, portrait artist, you need to learn how to draw eyes. Okay, you have to understand the simple structures of an eye. You need to uh, because um, eyes is. Uh, so, okay, you have to understand the structures of it. Uh, how can you do it? Draw every day. Just draw at least one eye a day, okay? At some point, you can draw an eye even without or any re reference, and you can still make the eye look very convincing. See, I block in the shadow here. Okay, I have the shape of the eyes, but I'm not hurried to jump in for detail. I'm still not hurried for that. Working on outside of her, the outline of her shape, looking for forms, beautiful, you know, muscle here under her eyes. I'm very lucky to have Megan here because she uh, one of my favorite models and I've been working with her many times. And she are fantastic, a very professional. Uh, okay, let me move on. I think a little bit of shadow at this side. Make sure I have this light here. I make sure that I have this light here. You know, it's not every, everybody have an equal, um, uh, you know, I mean the same uh, uh, equal eyes. Somebody might have eyes, left eye a little bit smaller than uh, right eyes, uh, or um, the right eye may be a little bit smaller. It's just a very normal because it's nothing perfect out there. Plus, at first, try to make it uh, 
equal first, okay? And then later on, you're looking for character, and you say, maybe this eye, maybe this eyelid a little bit bigger than this eyelid. But uh, at this point, no, try to make them look equal first. It's easy for you to control, and later on, is you will make decision based on the model uh, uh, character, and we can make the decision. soft touch. This paper is so wonderful for charcoal drawing. Okay, that feeling, everything is simple. I'm not hurrying to jump in and draw on the detail of her eye. Not yet. I want to do so bad, but I have to control myself. I think you need to learn how to do exactly the same. Uh, not jumping and draw right over, detail right over. We need to wait, okay? until all the structure will be right, the, the proportion look right, then detail will come. I try to do this. Very soft touch, okay? Very, very soft. Or you can use the brush too, uh, like I would use in the last episode. You can use the brush look very well too. Okay. So let's move on to her lips. Lots of people were asking me the way I hold in the pencil. Uh, it was so unusual, uh, but it's, it's not. It's not very. It's not unusual at all. It is the way to. Uh, I was trained uh, at the Academy of Art when I was uh, study in Vietnam. Uh, you need to learn how to hold the pencil. It's just like playing music. You need to learn how to sit how to hold the instrument right. So it's very, it's just very uh, same thing in art is the same. You need to learn how to hold the pencil right. And I avoid drawing like this, okay? Everything take time to learn, so. So I have this shape here. And I love it when uh, her mouth is just a bit open, it's just about to say something. It's just very beautiful and also it's harder to draw, especially when you draw it from, from light, it's uh, very hard to see. Uh, I like to come up close to the model once in a while to see, uh, uh, to look at their feature. See that I'm looking for shape. The shape is smaller, it's connected here. Come back here. So in a little bit darker in the shadow in the values. If we have time I would develop this drawing um, uh, completely full, it'd be a bit fun. This card is called block in the shadow. Okay, same thing in here. The light source right here in my studio is above her. So it creates a shadow on the socket, shadow under the nose, such as in the her lips. Uh, it's the depending on what you're looking for, okay? Sometimes I changing 
the light swap to make it look more traumatic. Uh, it just, or it's just your um, your preference. Okay, it don't have to be the same, or it don't it's nothing wrong or right uh, by using different light source. And uh, sometimes if you, uh, but I'm avoid to use uh, the light source underneath because uh, a face because it look um, it look a little bit scary, you know. So. symbol shading in the shadow okay now I'm looking for let's step back a little bit and take a look at her hair okay you can see a little bit more I will fill in with a little bit darker or in values for entire process here, I only use 4B, uh, 4B soft, okay? And I don't think I need to use anything else. Just one, just one color, uh, one pencil at a time. And I can use, um, if I develop the drawing later, then I might use 6P. But at this point, I think it's just 4B is good enough. Even I'm using this tool for blending, I'm thinking of, of the direction of her hair too, okay? Trying to build forms and volumes. the highlight for here I saw the strong highlight in her nose okay but I'm trying to make again it's just the beginning state of the drawing I'm trying to make it very simple okay beautiful highlights in here and this is a white chalk from general white chalk pencil to your cross hatching for the state okay beautiful highlights in here highlights on the cheekbone Just symbol you cross hatching, okay? So when you go uh, have time, uh, we're gonna go more in detail. Then we're gonna use uh, uh, different direction for cross hatching to planning the drawing. But now I'm just using very simple line for me to control the forms and the shape. Beautiful lines in here.
to highlight them. Which in. Okay, then we can look at it here. A little bit highlight. Low that and you know that I haven't have any of our detail of her eyes yet. I will eventually, of course. Now I'm trying to control form, shape, or blend. job to identify her iris for some a little bit of white chalk here on her glitter. Let's see how it's working. Okay. I noticed that the corner of the mouth, the blue trick here, may be touching this side of the iris. side the iris is closer so it's gonna look very look very straight at me right now so I have this concept then there are highlights on top Let's work on her eyes, okay? Remember when you work in with the uh, with the, the portrait with both eyes then you need to work with the both eyes at the same time okay always remember this okay i don't want you to think about just draw one eye completely finish and another eyes it's okay too but it's it's not it's harder to control at some point you are very uh, very skillful, you're very strong at drawing skill and I believe you can do it. I have seen other artists do it, but they are, they know what they're doing. They're very strong at drawing skills and they know exactly what they're doing. And it's totally fine. But when you're learning, you need to learn how 
what you draw the eye at the same time, okay? So, you could probably just draw some off a little bit, chop the light a little bit. Okay, let now time for me to go for more detail. Uh, this block in exercise almost there, okay? Block in the shadow, block in her eyebrows. You need to step back um, from your easel uh, some once a while, okay? To to see, okay? To control it. So in my case now, I'm book out and maybe I'm just gonna have to control the eye in the same uh, size, same values. Even it's not in detail, yes, but I'm still need to see it right. Very beautiful shadow here. And again, this is still, I'm, I'm mentioning it to you that this is, this is not a, a final drawing. It is just the beginning of my uh, drawing technique. 
to develop the, the full uh, drawing I will if I start liking this, uh, this drawing a lot then I will show I will share it with you in a different episode you can just maybe this uh, called part one and we're gonna continue to develop it into part two uh, when I don't know when I have time but uh, I would love to I think it look uh, wonderful and I want to share it with you uh, I might have Megan coming back and I'm gonna spend more time to work in it until the completely full detail okay but now okay looking for beautiful shadow in here okay. connected to her lower the shadow the shadow turned into her neck to her cheek and you can see a block in the shadow on this side of the shadow here make sure that I understand beautiful maybe just highlight top of her upper lip Okay, screen it to make a symbol. Okay, so let's work on her nose a little bit here. Again, make sure it was dry. Sharp and just saddle a little bit here. You know that I'm using 4P pencil and it seems very dark to me now. So when you choose um, uh, the pencil, uh, don't start with too dark, okay? Like this one is a little bit dark to me. Um, it's okay, but I learn from it too. And maybe next time I go you starting with uh, XB again. That's a very important stage. So I like you to take this uh, experience uh, watching me uh, to learn and take your time. It's okay. Uh, don't rush. It's a very important stage. You're building a house now. You need a very strong foundation. Okay.
sorry for the noise. Again, my neighbors is uh, building their house or something, so they make a very annoying noise now, but uh, there's nothing you can do, okay? So bear with me. I, um, the, car, the pencil I'm using now is 2B medium. Um, I want is uh, a little bit harder than the 4B, so I can go on uh, working on details of the eyes a little bit more. I know that it's. Uh, uh, I will continue to develop the uh, the drawing. I will have Megan uh, stay for a little bit longer, so I want to finish the drawing. Uh, the, uh, the first idea is just um, showing uh, the block in, uh, but now since I start feeling in love with this, you know what? Why not just try to finish it too? Okay, so it's gonna be uh, a longer video. This might be uh, maybe two hour or maybe even more, uh, but uh, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so let's have fun together. Close the eyes a little bit more. I think in, in her eyes, she have a, a many, or I think it's a few highlights, but I would like to make maybe just one simple highlight. That's what I learned from my uh, teacher, uh, Master Daniel Green. If you uh, heard about him, he's an um, in incredible um, American master. And um, that what I learned from him is sometimes make, is make things simple. Okay, if the eyes uh, have so many highlights, to pick a stronger highlight, and that's it. So I learned it from him, and I agree that it makes it uh, more simple. And also, if you go to uh, the museum, look at all the master work. All the ma old master make the eyes very simple. Only one highlight such as uh, if you see a portrait done by Rembrandt it's just one highlight 
I'm working on details of the eyes right now, okay? That's what I love the most. Work on eyes, details. But you know, sometimes um, you work on something, you plan on it, and then it just turns out something different. Especially like this uh, drawing. When I get on Megan, I just thought, oh, maybe it's just using I'll do a block in to show you how to block in the drawing and done uh, but I cannot stop so that's why we're still here otherwise we finished a long time ago I can leave it highlights here okay let's work on this side the reason I didn't um, let you know that the reason I didn't feel out the hair now because of my hand and leaning on it be careful. Sometimes I uh, I have a mustard. Here you go. I just have a piece of wood, so I can lean on my easel, so it's easy for me. Now I'm gonna make a mess. Still using uh, using a two B medium charcoal pencil two B medium. They were beautiful highlight, highlight on top of her um, upper lid here. The technique I'm used for shading called cross hatching. The 
step back a little bit. Take a look. Make sure that eyes are equal. You know, sometimes you stay too long, and again, I mentioned many times that you wouldn't see the mistake. It's good to step back once in a while. Look at the model, measures. It's good to have that, okay? Need to make sure that this little bit is the same values here. And the lighting hitting on this a little bit. You can see that a little beautiful highlight right here. Bring you my finger sometimes too. to the light too hard because it's uh, she's still very young and if you have uh, too many hard lines she's gonna make Megan look older than she is and of course she's not gonna like it right so. for me the most important part of the portrait is uh, the feeling the feeling how can you transform a piece of paper to an image of a head, a portrait with the feelings in it, and it's very important, okay? And that part you need to, um, you need to learn, you need to learn the, um, the muscle. Uh, for right here, I know that this line here sometimes is, uh, it makes it more, uh, emotion is the lower lid so that lower lid here the muscle here changing when people were sad uh, people were uh, smiling is moving the corner of the mouth is the same thing when people are happy or people were sad the mouth showing it okay the corner of the mouth right here when you're smiling like if Megan smiling has come up, she said, go down. Same thing with this. And you get angry, that mu muscle here is all showing. So, but she's not angry now, so that's good. The light shadow here, gonna keep it simple. Soft the edges of the shadow too, okay? Before the block in, we can show shapes and form. Now is, uh, we're working on detail right now. So it has to be the transition from shadow when the shadow touch the mid-tone, soft the edges a little bit. So it looks natural. I do love this paper very much, and I um, recommend that you buying it. I mentioned this again now. It's a Kenson English. Uh, I think that's Kenson from Kenson, the company name, and they call it paper called English. And um, the color here is still gray. They have many different colors. I tried this one and I love it, but I think I would try another color too to see how uh, how the different is. But this is a Beautiful paper, very forgiving, perfect for drawing. Let's make sure the eyes again. I'm, I love working on the eye. I, I don't know when I'm gonna stop, but I have to stop so we can move on. Okay, I'm, if I have time, I'm gonna come back and work on more and more detail. But now, I don't know if I keep doing this, it's gonna take too long. I'm, I'm getting tired too. 
the motor getting tired, the art is getting tired, and we don't have time here. I try my best. This is beautiful. Lies in here. This is where I'm going to put my white chalk. Let's walk on the nose a little bit more. The nose is uh, make it a little bit stronger highlight. Values either um, the, uh, the the darkness of the shadow and uh, in the relationship with the highlight. Okay, in the rains from dark to light. So you need to control that. It's very important. Very important. Okay. To make a beautiful painting, make a beautiful drawing, you need to learn how to control the values. The colors can change, but values would never change. See a little bit of this little bit highlight in here. Beautiful. Okay, I need to move on to continue working on the nose for now. Nose and then lips.
the symbol shape. Pull out some of the ways uh, or the volumes of her hair, and in the end of it, we're gonna have more detail. But now, to hear them, to have a concept. 